my name is The Bird Brain and today I will teach you two very neat rigging tricks. You know what, I'm quite a good harmony rigger. I mean, it's part of my job description after all. Uh, rigging's never been my um, favorite subject in animation. And that includes both 2D and 3D animation alike. Which explains the very high diversity of content on my channel so far. Yeah, I know. Uh, sorry. Sorry, rigging. I, I'm, I heard you all. I'm working on it. It's coming. But yeah, it's coming. Slowly. I just love compositing so much. There's a lot of things that annoy me about rigging, and one of these things is creating and naming all the layers within your rig. Then you go like front eye, front iris, uh, you go like nose and face, and then you have to name them and then you have to like put them next to each other, then you have to group them on their little composite and wham! Your composite is in bitmap and you're like, I'm rigging, your composites need to be in pass through. So that you know, all these kind of things, and by the way, for the pass through composite, you can go into your preferences and just go into here and there's a set default pass through composite which is like a must when you're doing rigging and this explains why in the rigging preference set it's already in path through which is amazing and you also have to make sure that your drawings are like unanimatable if that's a word that you cannot animate them so all of these little things you have to do it for every rig and it's annoying so today i'm going to teach you two tricks to make creating your layers less of a hassle okay so first trick if you have the front eye chances are you're gonna need the back eye as well and i'm using front and back instead of left and right but this is covered in another video so you can go and watch that and come back to this one after so i have my front eye and then i want to duplicate it i won't copy paste it i will duplicate it i'm not gonna explain just trust me you don't copy paste drawings in a rig unless you know what you're doing so i'm gonna duplicate them to make sure that their timing and drawings are separate so now I have my front and I have my back eye, but the back eye still have F because it's a duplicate. And Harmony added a 1 to protect you from corrupting your stuff because you have too many things that are named the same way. So we're gonna use a tool that a lot of people don't really know that it exists. And it's add prefix suffix little tool. I'm gonna select my layers, go in that little tool here. And I wanna change the F to a B, so I'm gonna go into the prefix. I will remove the F underscore and I will insert instead B underscore. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And then I can do it again. And instead of changing the prefix, I'm gonna change the suffix and I will remove the underscore one. And there I have renamed my things super quick, which is great. So you don't have to do it one by one. So of course I only took the I, but it could be for like the whole front side of your rig and then you want to switch it to the back and etc. So that's the first neat trick. The second trick is when you have a whole rig that you want to kind of reused so in this rig everything is already done except the little backdrops because i forgot oops if i go to the mouth here all the drawing substitution are already named so all of this work if you do it for every rig you're not you're not gonna like it so so if a lot of my characters in my series have kind of a similar body shape where they have like they all have the same kind of head two eyes one mouth hat all of them have a hat and the same body and arm uh kind of look because it can be a bird or it can be a dog that's more of a wolf, but uh, whatever. So if you have similar characters, they can have a very similar rig. So I'm gonna take my rig, instead of duplicating it, because if I do the same thing and I duplicate it, I will have two rigs, <laughs> which is not what I want. I want to create a blank copy of my rig. Instead of duplicating it, uh, I will take it, copy it, and paste it with Control B. So it's a copy-paste special. Yes, I am opening that window today. I am not explaining it through and through, but I will teach you how to make your blank copy. So you take your little box, you make sure that this is set to add and remove exposure, you go to never create drawing files, and then you click on create new columns. This is very important because otherwise it's gonna like share the same drawings as in the past. And Anyway, so if you do that and you press OK, it will create a copy of your rig, but this one is empty. There is nothing in that rig. So it's still the same rig that I had before, so everything is named the right way. I even have all my rigging system, so you could just start from scratch on another character and I'll have your systems ready. And since I used the little technique I showed you, if I go to my mouth here, mouth, my beak, and I go to my drawing subs, everything is already named, so you won't have to do it one by one. So this is how you can create a copy of a rig. I like to have everything already connected and stuff because, you know, when you create auto patch and weird systems, it's fun to only have to do it once. All right, so just as a little conclusion, I'm just gonna show you the things again. So there was here this little tool that is called the add prefix or suffix to rename your things very easily. So if this was a new character, I could take this and just rename both of them at the same time because I am that lazy. So I'm gonna remove the Z and I'm gonna add Boo because Boo is my dog's name and I love my dog. 
there it's renamed and then i just have to do it a second time to remove the one there everything is renamed did i make your life easier are you super happy i'm sure you're super happy so with that i hope you will use this and be a more efficient rigger and i wish you a super cool week see you soon